Hello my lovely and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here to another unboxing of the Alexandra Reinke subscription box called Creative Box. And um, here you see me cutting apart the two boxes I received. Um, I only ordered a couple of tiny bits but they put it in an extra box. I guess it's a matter of organizing the subscription boxes. So here we are and uh, later on you will see that I overlooked uh, a coupon in the box and <laughs> I put something over it. Uh, you cannot miss it so I apologize for that. And here we go with the unboxing. First of all we have the lovely Alexandra Renke uh, paper. So there you see it, it's under my hand right now. First up is a stamp set and that's for New Year's. Um, it has uh, stamps like Fizz, Clink <laughs> and uh, the numbers or the um, digits and the stamp set is called Neujahrswünsche, New Year's Sayings. And up next we have a set of or a couple of labels that are held together with this tiny clamp and a piece of seems to be um, handmade paper and then there's a little bag, a gift bag. I noticed they do have a lot of black items in the shop lately and this is one of them uh, a little gift bag as I say and for New Year's for the good luck wishes we have some four leaf clover and that's what they are called drei Kleeblätter im Set a set of three clovers and then we have this long die that makes a stitched border, a cross stitch border I would say. And it's called Kreuzbordüre or cross border. Very interesting. Um, you could do lots of things with that I, I'd say. Um, I have an idea for a card already and this is where I noticed that there was a um, code in the box. And up next is some paper, wrapping paper, gift wrap. It's white on the inside but it's lovely cream metallic on the outside with golden stars as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Make some gift bags with that as well. And here's a different one that kind of looks metallic but it's um, grey printed on um, craft paper. And here we have some glassine that you could also make some gift bags from. Lovely. And then we have some ribbon and there's uh, different types. This is gold elastic but this is a uh, knitted uh, ribbon and this is uh, a kind of a I'm not sure if it's paper or thread, but it's woven, it's very sturdy. And this knitted one is very shiny. <laughs> so I'm contemplating what I could use them for, for a project perhaps. And um, 
kind of does remind you of the dye as well, that uh, dark fabric ribbon. And here I'm trying to give you a close-up. I'm not sure if you can see really well. So up next we have a sheet of stickers, which are both in English and German. And I'm passing the sheet slowly so you can take a look. Freeze the video if you or <laughs> stop the video if you want to freeze frame. And then we have a calendar and uh, it's uh, the Alexandra Renke calendar in A3 format and the paper number is 10 16 21 and it has a reverse side which is unusual for Alexandra Renke so I guess you could make that into a calendar and here is some paper that they've had in their range for a long time it's a leather design so it's just embossed in a leather type of um, embossing <laughs> and uh, on the back side you can see it a little bit but of course it doesn't look as as it does from the front and here we have glitzy magical and the color is gleaming gold I don't think you can actually see it here but you will see it later when I do my project and we have the same leather um, type paper in white here my camera didn't focus so I cut that bit out and um, up next is a really thick card uh, in black it's a bit structured as you can see and quite nice and up next is this beautiful wooden embossed paper it's really lovely and I could imagine that one could brush gold over the screen and it looks shiny already and then we have this ray one it's also the same embossing and also beautiful and here we have another one of the typical Alexandra Heinke gold paper with stars on it and the paper number here is 10 242 so this is an old paper but nevertheless it's always beautiful and this is the selection for this creative box I'm really happy to receive this and I can use all the products I think but I wanted to make a project and I decided to make a card using these ribbons so I'm cutting it on my normal sized plate and it's no problem because you can if you glued the dies down on the paper properly then you can move the paper on the cutting plates and cut it from both ends and here I'm using the magical glitzy gold or gleaming gold to color my strips that I cut and also the clovers that I cut from white paper it's just ordinary white paper and I uh, found a card and stamped on there pop fizz clink and the numbers counting down and 
the bubbles counting up <laughs> and um, that's going to be the inside of my card so to decorate the front I cut a piece of this beautiful wooden cardstock and I'm going to use my Distress Oxides in black soot to kind of give it a little bit of an edge and make it more dimensional and I also went over the cardstock to emphasize the wooden structure and here we are with those golden strips I was first contemplating to, if I should stick them down on their own but then I decided to glue them together as you're supposed to I guess either way it would have been nice I think and now I'm just gluing them to the front of the card making sure I'm using the end and so I can cut off the other end and have some leftover strips because they are quite long um, you can get a lot out of this I was imagining that you could use these strips as ribbons and tie them around a box or uh, one of those bags that they have on offer right now at Alexandra Renke and many uses come to mind so here I'm cutting off the ends and making sure everything is glued together and now I'm coming in with the four leaf clovers sticking them down uh, moving from the inside to the outside as, as far as size is concerned so I end up with a nice cluster of four leaf clovers um, I'm adding some more of the leftover strips and then my card is complete except for some crosses that fell out of this pattern and that I colored black and I'm going to glue them inside the card as kisses <laughs> and um, that's it for my card I do hope you like my unboxing and you like my card if you did please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not a subscriber already I would love to see you back on my channel for the next video hopefully not that long <laughs> the next box will only arrive in January on the 15th they said so until then I hope to post something else <laughs> until then do take care do what you love bye for now Ta-da!